Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. If you're new to my YouTube channel, if you could subscribe and like the video, please. It will be a great help. So today I'm gonna do a tutorial about the rapid drone analysis of a embankment. Embankment dam. So this tutorial is a little bit advanced because as usual I will not draw these tutorials. Uh, I will only show you what do they mean, what we are doing in this tutorial, and why we chose these parameters. So, what is a rapid drawdown analysis? When a dam is uh, uh, is fully uh, is fully uh, water uh, has a full level water level, and we want to reduce this water level very fast, it may lead to an instability in the dam. This instability is due to the water pressure inside the dam that will take a little bit of time uh, to, uh, to draw down from the dam, to leave the dam. So when we have a high level here and then it goes down to 5 meters, from 25 to 5 meters, in like 5 days or 50 days there will still be a poor pressure in this dam here which will create a pressure in the dam that may lead to the instability of the dam so this is why we should do a drawdown analysis so let's start first of all we're gonna see the geometry this is the geometry here then we're gonna define the soil. This is the material properties of the dam and the subsoil. So it's drawn here. I will not draw it to save some time. So now this is the structure. It consists of the core of the dam, the embankment itself, and the surfaces. We have the ground surfaces here so it's here we should draw the surface here we intersect and we cluster we will extrude it so I will not draw it since I've made more difficult tutorials and do them and this is the groundwater surface created and generate a groundwater flow boundary so I've also created my mesh here you could see the mesh that we've created in order to create the mesh I use these value here Now we're gonna go to the calculation. So we should define a water level. We should define a high water, a high reservoir, and a low reservoir, a reservoir water level. So how do we do it? We go to flow condition. We choose this command here, and I put eight points, and we change the value here. So I'm gonna remove them now, and we can see the reservoir here so this is the first water level it's the high one you can see it comes to here and this is the low water level so the head of the water is uh, i think it's minus three i'll check it It's minus 10 so by default when we put the eight points one two three we put the eight one here to go down to the water level so now we're gonna make a stage construction the initial phase should be a gravity load uh, option because 
as you can see the soil here is not horizontal so it's better to use gravity load than k0 procedure then we're gonna use the state groundwater flow option and pore pressure calculation type we're gonna activate the soil we're gonna also activate the water groundwater boundaries and we're gonna put the water level sub tree to groundwater level so it's here let's start by the first one the water level is is uh, groundwater high reservoir we've turned on the, the groundwater flow also open open close 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 and open so what does it, do this mean in the y direction so it means that in the y direction it is open the water condition can flow through the y direction uh, it's closed I'm sorry because the dam will continue through the y direction so it's closed from here and here it cannot go through the y direction in the x direction it is open because it can travel from here to here and the z direction it's closed in the z minimum because it's underground so it can't flow underground since there's also water in minus 10 it can go upwards though. so these are the conditions then we're gonna do a rapid drawdown from 25 meters to 5 meters in 5 days in a period of 5 days in this we're gonna use the head function and activate the ground flow boundary condition and we're gonna select the head option for the behavior okay so i'm gonna show you how go to rapid rowdown put fully coupled flow deformation so it's a time dependent analysis of the deformation stage construction high dam we put a time period of five days so here in the attributes we go to flow function we go to edit we've created we can create one from here from the plus we've created a rapid drawdown it's uh, time dependent of five days to minus 20 from 25 to minus 20 and a slow one from 25 to minus 20 with 50 days time you can see the graph here so for the rapid drawdown we put on the groundwater surface here rapid the head function for the slow drawdown, we put the slow, the head function to slow. And then we made the safety analysis. So I've already made the calculation in order to save some time. We can see the output now. So we can see at phase one, the rapid drawdown let's make a section so it will be at uh, 23 0 1 23 i've made a cross section in the middle so we can see the total displacement you can see the pore pressure this is the pore pressure can see the effective stress and we can see from the high reservoir and what happens in the rapid drawdown so this is a slow drawdown you can see the difference in the deformation of the dam so this is the slow one and this is the fast you see a bigger deformation here so we can go also to the safety analysis we can see the safety factors and everything so this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching